Hello everyone. Today I will talk about how to generate vial.json for the vial firmware. Uh, if you have ever ported vial firmware from QMK, you would know we need a layout file called vial.json. And if you're lucky, you can file it. Uh, you can find it on the VIA website. But sometimes you can't find it. Then you have to draw it yourself. And uh, I will go through the process today. So the tool we will use is the keyboardlayouteditor.com, which looks like this. Um, it has preset uh, layout. So in case your keyboard is very similar to one of them, then you can use that as the starting point. If it's if your keyboard is not really like any of them, you can start from a blank layout and start to add keys. And then you can also move the keys to the right shape uh, you you want. So in in my example, I was uh, drawing the layout for this Lua keyboard, which doesn't really look like. Uh, the existence went very, very much, and also there are not too many keys, so I just uh, drew one myself. Okay, let me load it from my uh, from my from my disk. Okay, let me just go find it here. Okay, so if you load it from the raw raw data. I mean, I, I drew it previously just by hand, and just added buttons and modify them. So, so uh, this is the layout. Uh, there, there are some stuff you need to change here. So you can see there are some subscripts and uh, some stuff here. They have very specific meanings. So this E stands for encoder. And uh, in this keyboard, there are two encoders. That's why there are 00, zero and zero 01. And one zero and one one zero for the first encoder, one for the second <coughs> second encoder. You can. I have another video uh, talking about the, those encoder support. But the the important part, uh, say you don't have encoder. The important part is actually this zero 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 one, this kind of stuff, and uh, you cannot just arbitrarily put them in as if they are just a two D array. And you can see here it doesn't. It's not really continuous. This, these two numbers are the row index and the column in the index, which re relates to how the designer wired the, the PCB. So, uh, I mean, here I'm clicking this button, you have to put a zero, zero here. Okay, uh, let me show you how, uh, how you, I, I find out uh, these numbers. Okay, uh, so. If you already have a QMK file, that will be uh, the most <coughs> most convenient way uh, to find them out. So in the QMK, I'm here. I'm using the vial folder, but uh, but uh, it should exist in the QMK as well. Wait, this is not the one. So I want to see the Lua key. Oh yeah, so so it's here. keep yeah okay so right now I'm at the vial dash QMK but uh, normally you will see it in the QMK um, uh, repo so I think maybe it's uh, config dot not config lua keep dot h or may lua keep dot c maybe Yeah, so in this .h file, you can see it defines the layout, and they are called zero 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 one, etc. And that's exactly the row and column indices you have to put in here. Okay, so I mean that's nothing tricky. You just have to do uh, you just fill in all those numbers here, 
and for encoders you have to put an E here in the central legend. Okay, after you are done with the drawing, go to the raw, raw data and click download. So let me show you how this downloaded file look like. Downloads, uh, Lua, keep, yeah. So it is a, just a JSON file uh, that defines this thing. But this is actually not the vial.json we want. Let me show you what the vial.json look like. So you basically need to modify this file, uh, this this uh, downloaded file and add some other content to it. So now I'm opening the, the vial.json. So you have to put in the name of the keyboard. Uh, this is not important. And you need to put in the matrix and put in the layout. And this key, key map is what you just downloaded. So you still need to find out this information, which tells the firmware how many rows there are and how many columns there are. I mean, you can look at this and tell how many there are, but there's another easier way for that. Because this information should also exist in the QMK file. Uh, where should this be? Oh yeah, so in the config.h, it should define the rows and the columns. Okay, so with that, you got the full information for this vial.json. And then you can follow my other video to do the porting. Okay, that's all I want to cover for today. Hope this is useful information. Thanks for watching. Bye.